today is moving day um i am moving to brighton my flat starts today i'm currently sat in my home village just with a car full of shit um my car's loaded up my mum just left in a van full of stuff she's going straight to the flat and i'm going to the estate agents to pick up the keys and then we're going to unload everything and we show you what the empty flat looks like and um this is going to be the start of moving to Brighton vlog, I think, um, and doing my flat and showing you the whole process and everything. I have a few ideas of what I want it to look like. I have like a whole Etsy wish list um, and a few things already on the way slash ordered. Um, but yes, I am not living in the flat for the first like couple weeks because Saf and I are going camping and then also my gas and electricity doesn't switch over until... Um, a few weeks time because I'm an idiot and I also don't know who the old provider is or if there isn't even even is an old provider um, but also I don't want a big bill from them but yes and then my wi-fi doesn't start until next week anyway so yeah but we're going camping but yeah anyway so I'm moving all this stuff down and I'm going to drive to Brighton now it's about two hour 20 drive to the estate agents um, yeah I think it's going to be fun need to pick some tunes for the drive um my most recent <laughs> my most recent faves on spotify have been willow smith um really good of course i love olivia Rod rodrigo um ash nico also um lily is that you come fuck me right now i really like that The keys have been acquired. Now I'm gonna go to the flat. E. So excited. I'm out of breath because I ran because I was late. And now, because there's so much traffic, I need to be so bad. I hope that the toilet works. Just like bare minimum stuff. Um, and yes, I'm so excited to see my flat. Yay! And this is my empty flat. It's so small. Um, the more I'm in it, the bigger it feels, which is a good sign. My fireplace, my kitchen. I have a bathroom down there and a hallway, so I feel like an adult. Time to unload all of my shit. Oh my god, like an hour of moving stuff and all of my stuff is in the flat. Let my neighbor help me with that. Thank you, Chris. Um, my ring, die, smiley face fell off. I lost three nails, one of which I will never be able to find because I don't know where it went. Um, yeah, but I moved in. Now we're gonna go get some lunch. Hi guys, so um, Saf and I have moved more stuff in as you can see but I put my desk where I want it and I put my bed where I want it so I'm feeling good that is a plant my dad got me for graduation and there is my mirror so everything is kind of starting to fall into place and yeah but I've got a lot of unpacking to do we're going to see some friends this evening so I won't be done today and I've got my kettle and my bed frame coming tomorrow and then all my kitchen stuff coming on Wednesday and then I've got various other things that I've ordered coming at some point um so yeah, I am moving in officially. Oh. It feels good. Hi. Good morning, Saf. How was the first night in the flat? Uh, easy. easy. I slept well. Saf, I did not. Uh. And we have no kettle, so we can't make. We can't make coffee. We have saucepans. Boil the sauce. I hate you. <laughs> so today's job is tackle this pile. Um, but I built my wardrobe, it was really easy, it was just like £40 on Etsy. Um, it's good for £40, I wouldn't recommend it if you want something nicer, but it's quite good. So I'm going to go through my clothes, because I feel like that's most of this pile, and then like, figure out what I'm doing with my life, with the layout of the room. So, I think I'm making good progress. I have some stuff hung up um 
but why do I hate everything I own? Also, look how cute this top is. It's from the Shari shop, £1.50. I am gonna just like crack on with this because I still have like a shit ton to do. Um, I think a lot of stuff is gonna end up living under my bed because that's where like hoodies and pajamas and sportswear and stuff can go. Um, but I think trousers and skirts and everything are actually fitting quite well down there, so I'm probably gonna keep them there. Um, and then I'm gonna pl I'm planning to have at least one of my racks set up. So I'm probably gonna put my like favorite clothes on that so that I can like pull from it. And to be honest, I might even get both set up. Oh, I think that's Steph. Hello. How buzz you in? That's cool. I enjoy doing that. Hey, hello. Um, so yesterday, Steph and I built the bed. Um, it was easy. It's just a bed off Amazon. I'll link everything that I build slash new in this video. Um, my kettle arrived. It's like hiding over there. Um, and I feel very adult owning my own kettle. But today I think I'm just gonna pull some stuff for that rack. I have loads of kitchen stuff arriving um, and some storage units for like under the bed so that I can put my um, like tops and sportswear and stuff that doesn't fit or doesn't go on that rack on that rack. This top I got second hand at a charity shop recently. These I got at a charity shop a while back in Carlisle, so um, those are the fit details. And I need to blow dry my fringe because it's currently like in my face. So I'm gonna do that. My fringe is done. I'm gonna leave the rest of my hair to like dry normally. Um, and then I'm gonna just pull some stuff and put it on my rack. Um, my favorite clothes rack. Hey guys, so I just got a load of Amazon boxes delivered, which is all my kitchen stuff, I think. Um, so I thought I'd show you. First I got this um, shoe rack, which I'm gonna have to build um, for my mountain of shoes. Then I got these pots, which I had to get new pots because um, my hob is induction and I've never had an induction hob, but look how cute they are. Um, very exciting by these but I basically got all new kitchen stuff because my like fork, knives and forks were just like completely ruined because I got them at the start of uni five years ago and I thought I'd get like a nice set for my new life as an adult um, because I'm gonna be broke so why not be broke with like nice crockery um, I got new plates as well because again same principle and then I got a dish brush with like one of the heads that you can remove. I ordered <laughs> I ordered a five litre tub of washing up liquid from Ecova because I thought that that would be less wasteful and then I could just like, it has like a, a proper dispenser in it. So I thought I could just wash up using that. Um, oh, my cutlery, like I told you, it's black. This is what it's like. Well, my new cutlery is black. It's just a 16 piece set. And then I got some nice knives. I got some um, marble coated knives from Blackmore. They weren't too expensive. Um, oh, there's a peeler in here as well. That's nice. I already have a peeler, but what is this? I ordered more bowls as well. Um, oh, these are my baking trays and like stuff. I ordered like a baking tray kit. Then I have this bowl set. I think these are just like wheat starch bowls. Um, but they feel really nice. They're really light. I just thought they'd be cute for like cereals, pasta, and I just got like a range of pastel colors. Oh, these are the microfiber cloths. Oh, so these aren't, these are my organizers. Okay, that will make so much more sense. I thought they were a bit weird. These are my nice microfiber cloths. Um, cleaning and drying dishes and stuff oh my god they feel really weird um and these are my organizers these are my plates um so it said they were ceramic but they feel like camping plates so i think that's my fault but they said they were ceramic um these are dishwashing sponges that expand with water these are natural dishwashing sponges. Sponge. I got this cute kitchen utensil set. 
I thought I didn't get the one with the cloth, but it looks like I did. They're just grey. Um, there's loads of them in here. Because um, I don't have a drawer for my... I don't have a drawer in my kitchen, so these having a pot. I thought, oh, why would I need a pot? But no, this is actually quite useful, thank you. Boxes is my chopping boards because, again, I've just like got completely annihilated and like had like mold and it was um, turning black and it had changed shape from not being kept out of wetness at uni. So I have this nice set of three bamboo chopping boards, also from Blackmore. Um, so yeah, that's my little Amazon home haul. I just lugged this up the stairs, it's very heavy. I'm in my underwear! Yeah, but you're not in the room! I'm about to be. It's very heavy. Um, as you can see, the bed frame is now made and the rack is looking good. But this is my locker, so I'm very excited to build it, so I'm gonna build it. Sam! Oh, hey! There she is. Hi, her. I don't know what I'm, how, how, how. She is in one piece. And the doors work, yay. Look at her go. I'm so proud. Hi guys. Um, so, as you can probably see, the flat has changed a bit. I have plants now. They're everywhere. It's fantastic. Um, I went and like moved all my plants from my mum's house up and to be honest I'm pretty happy with how the flat's looking. It's um, you know definitely where I want it to be. There's a few like design elements that are wanting fixing but I have two plants hanging at the moment but I have one of these like hangy things left and what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hopefully put it in this spot here between the cabinet and the shelves to a to fill that space because it's just a sad empty space and b because my fruit bowl my like big mixing bowl is currently holding all of my covid lateral flow test stuff and all of my paracetamols and drugs and stuff because i don't really have anywhere to put them i could put them in the bathroom but like lateral flows are a bit awkward aren't they so I need somewhere else to store my fruit. And I thought that some bananas and stuff would fit so great in one of these little hampers. They do have quite big holes, but I feel like if they don't fit, then I can always get like a bowl that hangs in them or like a pot that I can put stuff in or like a basket. I'm sure a charity shop has a basket that I can hang. I also have really limited counter space, so having the fruit hanging will save a lot of my counter space. So I have these like hooks that I got off Amazon because turns out I had like a few left over from my old house because I tend to save them because they're hardware so they're not gonna like go bad. But I got a few more because um, I don't know. I thought I didn't have them but now I have them. So I'm gonna put this up there. Can you see that? Look at my bananas. Wow. DIY queen. I still have this really ugly thing and I'm actually gonna try and do a little DIY with that. This, this is editing time. Um, as you can see, I'm editing. This video finishes here because whatever DIY I tried to do didn't work and ended up buying a picture to go above that cabinet and you will see it and the rest of the flat in my flat tour which I've already filmed um but I hope you enjoyed this video um like comment share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye guys thanks so much for watching I love you